Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the vlog. I am feeling a little bit nervous. <laughs> so it's Monday morning, I'm just having a little tea break and I just emailed a therapist. Like, okay. I feel like a big brave girl. I feel like a big brave girl that's like weird and full of like nervous excited energy. Mm. Oh, I really just had to vlog this because I just wanted to keep this same um, a record of this moment that feels quite significant. I don't really know why, I'm probably just making more of a big deal of it than I should, but I have thought about therapy for years now, but I never really did anything to properly pursue it. And I should probably view this as important, a self-care task, as getting my nails or eyebrows done. You know, imagine the benefits that I could get from talking to an actual qualified person about some of the frankly ridiculous behaviours I have. <laughs> so uh, ah, I sent a little email and I was like hello, hello to you, I saw your profile on a thing and it was quite good. <laughs> I don't know what to say, I feel really I feel really nervous and I was just like, yeah, um, so maybe, maybe we can have a consultation. It was awful, I didn't know what to write and my email is quite erratic, but yeah, I'm gonna see what happens and I feel quite good about it. Like, I feel quite good about it. Do I? Yeah, I do. And I'll keep you updated, I'll keep you updated on it. <laughs> right, I need to, I need to, yeah, I need to just take it down a notch. <laughs> so update, I just heard back from the therapist and I am having an initial consultation with her on Friday. It's a, what fucking day is it today? It's Tuesday today and I'm meeting her on Friday via Zoom, obviously, or some kind of online communication platform. So yeah, I'll let you know how the consultation goes. I hope it's good. I hope she's not thick. Dagan's just returning with her Indian. Very, very fucking excited about it. The grass looks lovely. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> do you enjoy? Yeah. Oh, what's wrong? Do you not like, do you not like it? I have vlog in a while. Oh, why are you shy on the vlog? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Bring us the food, How please. Fast was that? That so was, fast. I can't believe I just said that. It's six minutes past six. You were late and went to the wrong house and <laughs> went to the wrong and house. And you still got the food by I just think after it was the wrong house. I still went to the I think we should a round of applause for how organised I was and I wrote down I'm, everything and I phoned. And you weren't around anyone. Yes, apart well from adding it all up, which was important. And menu for the house. <gasps> for future reference. Frida! Mm. I'm gonna... Are you happy with juice and the candy? My bag just fills with water. <laughs> Sorry, what happened? I didn't know you had that on. No, I'm just I'm going to tell Adam that because that happens to him and I was like, that is not a thing. Oh my God, it just fills with water because I'm so excited. What, your mouth? Yeah, you know uh, when I've actually physically slivered on the floor. Oh my God, please! <laughs> okay, I stand corrected. It does happen to other people and I you're not a delinquent. <laughs> it literally just filled. Like it was like a pocket of water in my mouth because I'm so excited. Maybe you should bring that up with therapy. <laughs> Quite nice. Three what is it? Bags. Show me the show me the paneer. Oh, I don't know where we're going. I'm very excited about the show paneer grill. The show me the paneer grill. What does mer mean? Mer. Uh, a something nice. grogon. Grogon. Grogon Josh. Rogan Josh. A lamb rogan Josh. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, is that gonna mark your table? Mushroom. Eh? Rice. Oh fuck! I'm not worried about that. Jesus. It's fine. Vegetable korma for the delinquent. Basic bitch. <laughs> 
veg. Like a korma is bad enough. I know, but then adding vegetable to I that. Just I that is. Chicken in like 14 if months ever time. there was insult to injury. <gasps> that looks delicious. What the fuck is that? Let me see. That's the paneer grill. That's the paneer grill. It's got, so it's literally it looks like just it's got sweet chilli sauce on it. It's grilled paneer. Oh, it looks like it's a like right. tangerine. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, excited about it. Yeah, I like the look of that. Are you joining us and having a fizzy? I am having a fizzy. I don't think you like a fizzy. I don't know. I was like, oh my god, you never drink fizzy. Yeah. <gasps> what sort? Are you wanting to sit on the sofa? No, Papa, it's fine. I always, I'm a floor sitter, so it's all good. I'm normally on the floor. So am I. Well, oh, would you prefer to sit on the floor? I'm happy. Okay, cool. I change. Mm, love this. Do you remember that time we got the set meal for four, but for the three? Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh my god, we were all dead. I've never seen I've never been so ill. I was dead. Like I had a bad sleep because I was so full. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I got made fun of the last time that happened. Oh, mm -hmm. When I had some salad. Oh yeah, I mean, who has a salad? Well, they get it. Shop with an email salad. Yeah. Not always. Sometimes I like eating tomato. I like the cucumber. That looks so lovely. <laughs> Doesn't it though? Oh. Mmm. Dry. One could say. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, sorry, Deacon. I took so much mushroom rice, I forgot it's myself. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm Help yourself. I forgot what I was doing. Have oh whatever god. you want, babe. It's an excessive amount of rice. Right, I'm not going to have rice yet. I'm all about the pop of dog. I just forgot what I was doing completely. Mmm. Ooh. Mm. Do we mind if I double that? Absolutely not. not. Oh my god. Mm. That put in your grill. <laughs> Hi guys, me again. It is Friday morning and I have just finished the initial consultation with my therapist my therapist i really liked her yeah she was really nice i found her easy to talk to so we're gonna go ahead i've booked in my first session which is next is it next week or two weeks it's at some point in the future so oh i feel really excited it was really good it was weird and i was like really fidgety and like Rrr! the whole time and yeah i feel really good about it I feel really excited and also kind of scared. Ish. Sort of. Oh, I don't know. My head's a bit of a washing machine just now. But it's good, I think. Yeah. I don't. Oh! <laughs> I think I need to go and chill out now because it's been a bit of a mad morning. But I feel really positive. I feel really excited and quite uplifted about this very, very grown-up girl decision that I've made in my life. Yes, thank you, thank you to me. <laughs> Congratulations. I will keep you updated on the whole situation because I think it's really important to share about these things. Right, yeah, okay, I'm just rambling now. I'm just rambling. I need to eat, okay. Uh, yeah, keep you posted. Hi guys, me again. <laughs> what a fucking... What a fucking stressful morning it has been. So stressful. I had to uh, drive for an appointment, which obviously I was late for because I fucking, we've spoken about that. And on the way there, I was driving at like 60 and this woman pulled into a side road in front of me, like so slowly and at the last minute and I nearly crashed into, like I had to hammer on my brakes and my heart was like, oh. <laughs> I really wanted to go up the side road that she was up and absolutely lose my mind with her. But I thought, no, you can't do that. What's that going to achieve? But still, like to that woman, like, fuck you, buddy. That was absolutely unacceptable road behaviour. Anyway, I recovered from that. Eventually, I, I got to my appointment and I had to phone them and be like, hi, I'm late with no excuse other than I'm an idiot can you still see me and they could bless them lovely lovely people so off i went it was to get my uh, my first look at getting my contact lenses i had to practice putting them in and taking them out three times before she could say yes that's you fine you can go home and try them now and wow i mean wow who knew it was so fucking difficult look at my makeup like it's all to fuck oh, jesus Christ. it's all to fuck because i couldn't 
get them out. I was like putting my finger up to the lens and then you pull down and then try and but the poor girl she was trying to explain and I just wasn't following her instructions and I couldn't get it out and then I had to try and slide it to the side of my eye and oh I just wasn't it just was so stressful I don't think contacts are for me like I'll give it a go but she must have been so frustrated like I think she really did want to kill me but she was so patient bless her I'm just like oh and I have my first therapist appointment, like now, and I just feel like I want to lie down and have a croissant, you know? Anyway, I'll update you. I'll update you on how it goes shortly. Hi guys, me again. I'm literally just, uh, just finished my first therapy appointment and I cried. I, cri I cried in it. Didn't, didn't think that would happen. Hate it. Hate it. Feel weird about it. Didn't enjoy it. Blood, like, yeah, no, I didn't enjoy that I cried. I mean, yeah. Just feel, feel like being hit by a train a little bit. Sort of. Maybe it's the afterthought of that stupid woman on the way out today that fucking nearly crashed into me. Don't really know what to say. Did not expect. Did not expect that to, to happen. I, f I feel a bit like, I feel quite exhausted actually. Not gonna lie. I think I, I need to go and have a cup of tea. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and a croissant. I feel like I could sleep. Like, I feel like I could sleep for hours right now. But I mean, you know, just probably, probably proves that it's, this is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel, <laughs> I feel bizarre. My next point is not for a few weeks, but my poor eyes. My eyes feel so tired. They got beat up by my contact lens appointment and now I'm fucking crying in therapy. <sighs> like what? Oh my god. I hate this life for me. That's kind of good though. Don't know how I feel about it. Don't know how I feel about it. Don't know why. I'm gonna fucking eat. I'm gonna fucking eat and chill. <laughs>
are correct. Hey? He's a Clydesdale horse, please. Oh my goodness. He is lovely. Oh, he's gonna have a drink. <laughs> One for the puddle. Like it. Right, alright, and you go. You go, my dude. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. You done that? You what a clever boy! <laughs> well, we go see if we can find this pirate ship. A pirate ship? Oh, ho, ho. I'm very excited about the pirate ship. So we need to get on our bikes and do some serious riding. Let's see if we can find it. Let's go. You just take that corner too sharp. Was there a wee branch in a wee? You okay? Did you hurt yourself? I'm stoned. Oh, babe. Brave boy. I didn't hurt myself. Good. You gonna get back on your bike? I didn't hurt myself. That's yet. good. Anyway, thanks to my helmet. Amazing. Thank goodness for your can helmet. I, can I'm, I'm, I'm protected. That's right, that's why we must always wear our helmet on our bike. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, honey. Oh my god. Love that. Love that for us. Thanks, babe. Thanks for the warning on that one. Appreciate it. Always. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Mummy's going to be delighted with that. Yeah. We found the pirate ship! Yes! Yes! Come on and let's have a closer look! Oh, look at that, Ease! What do you think? Ice cream sails! Cool! Hi guys, me again. I'm currently on day two of a hangover. Uh, yeah, it's wild. I went out with my friend Jackie on Saturday night and we were silly. We were silly, silly women. And we should have called it a night after the pub closed but we did not do this. We did not do this and we went to the club. We went to the club and um, I feel really upset about it. Like I feel really, really tragic about it. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not from the place where I live, you'll not understand you'll not understand about going to the club where we live. It's really unacceptable behavior, especially if you're as old as we are. Ah, oh, and especially if you go there and you fully believe that you are the most amazing dancers in the history of the universe. Like Jackie and I, the laldy that we were given it was, was frankly embarrassing. Sorry, Alex interrupted me. What I was saying was, yeah, Jackie and I just thought we were the 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 greatest dancers, and like Beyonce could never, she could never 
with what we were giving on Saturday night alone by ourselves on the dance floor and you just think like at the time you just think oh my god the moves that I'm giving are so outstanding when in reality you're just like <laughs> Every time I think about it, the shame, the shame in my heart. Every time I think about anyone that I spoke to, I have to either start singing really loudly or doing star jumps to try and push the memory out of my head because I can't cope with it. No, and Jackie's the same. She's the same. She's suffering with the, the shame bell today really really quite badly and I swear it's it's worse having the shame is so much worse when you live in a small town like if we'd gone out in a city somewhere where no one knew us and had the same night out it would be absolutely fine absolutely no problem at all we just wake up and be like well no one fucking knows us here off we dropped on our merry little way but small town fear is it's not a joke it is not a joke. The doom is real, the fear is real, the shame is real. And I never want to drink or go out in public again. I'll also mention, on top of the regular doom slash fear slash shame, there's a whole other element of COVID paranoia now involved. I, at one point, was sitting on on the Sunday and thinking, oh my God, my heart, like my heart rate, like I can really feel it. But that's just part of a hangover. But I, in my doom brain, had convinced myself I'd got, I'd got COVID. I was like, oh my God, I got a COVID, I got a COVID. And that's when my heart, that's when my heart is going. And then the more I was worrying about it, obviously my heart rate was increasing. But I, I was like, I've been, I've been out. I was in a pub. I was in the pub and then I drank too much. And then I went to the nightclub and I spoke to people and probably, probably picked up a COVID. I probably got it and that's me now. Can't see anyone now. Can't see anyone. I'm so fragile. I feel so fragile still. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Not one bit. So yeah, that's my current, that's my current state of mind. Really. Yeah, really, really hate this for me. Also love how this vlog is just basically my state of mind and some eating. I mean, that's what they all are, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't even feel like stone balancing could reset me in any way at the moment. I just would like to hide from the world and pretend that I wasn't out in public on Saturday. If I could do that, then everything would be fine, but Alas, I cannot, so we ride out the doom train. We are all aboard the doom train until we get to our destination. Yesterday's news and don't give a fuck anymore. Why, why do I hate this? Very, very, very nervous. Very, very nervous. Very nervous right now. Mm -hmm. Look at mummy having a lovely time. Uh, no, Love that for her. Look at this child, absolutely covered. I had an appointment to get contact lenses fed, fed, sorted. <laughs> what are you doing with your cell, lad? Hmm? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. On top of the on top of the regular doom fear, a. Uh, Seagulls eat baby birds. Yeah. You're off your head, lad. Oh my god, just this it's just the speaking to people, isn't it? It's just the speaking to people. Like I Are you joking? Are you joking with the size of this horse? <laughs> right, full speed ahead, let's find this shit. Okay, maybe me medium speed ahead? No? 
I mean, any sort of speed ahead would do, babe. Why is that red? Why is that red? And I just love everyone. Like, I love everyone so much when I'm out. Love this, love this piece. Love this piece for us. I love them so hard and everyone is so beautiful. And generally, I'm not fucking that keen on people. I'm not keen on yous, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hello, big guy, isn't he? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly embarrassing. Excuse me, Alexa. Excuse me, my hun. No, Alexa. Can you stop? Alexa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <sighs> the way in which I nearly died. What about a drink in my system? <laughs> I remember there was this girl that kept past me and I was like, oh my God, excuse me, I love your hair. Your hair is amazing. Uh, what, shut up, what am I saying? See, stressed. <sighs> I've never seen such amazing hair before in my life. Hey guys, what's happening? <coughs> and then every time she passed me, I'd be like, your fucking hair is amazing. I'm like, what? Shh, st stop it. Stop it, leave this person alone. Like, stop it. Oh my God. And I, what are you talking about? Are you okay? You've just lost your train of thought now, babe. You need to go and like eat something for your breakfast. Why do you feel the need to so aggressively compliment people when you've had a drink? It's very, very upsetting to me. Very upsetting. Oh, I've just fucking ripped the skirt I'm wearing right up the back seam. I just sat on the couch and it went brrr. A fucking hell. I love this skirt. I, fu I love this skirt. Fuck's sake. Oh. oh, fucking big arse. Okay, just think about it like, um, try to like pull, pull it down. Come on, come on. And then this eye wouldn't let me pull it down. No, this eye wouldn't let me pull it to the side. Oh, it was all, it was just fucking, it was very, very hard. And I felt like, I feel very foolish because I couldn't do it. I couldn't do my contact lenses, okay? Well. No. <laughs> Why is my fucking battery low? See this fucking battery? I swear to God, I definitely need therapy.